Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's the artist formerly known as Life Regenerator on YouTube, but the man loves truth and it oozes out of his pores, and society just can't have that. So today I'm going to be on my best behavior, no conspiracies, Dan, okay? You know, you'll know, you know I don't use the word theory because all them conspiracy theories always end up becoming facts. Can you dig it? Today we got the lemon ginger blast, the world famous lemon ginger blast. We've got six apples, big old hub of ginger, lemon. We got cilantro, arugula, dandelion, mint, fennel, and we got some of these local Hawaiian chilies. Can you dig it? Let's run this through. I need some breakfast. It's like one o'clock and I'm getting my breakfast. I've been up all day just grinding it, baby. It's been awesome, 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 man. So it's going to be 2023 here real soon uh, in like about 11 hours. Now, I won't be up because I believe that's one of the things I talked about in the consultation this morning was, um, you know, you have to prioritize on your sleep. And I don't care if it's New Year's. Number one, I'm not going to go out and party because... I'd rather get my sleep and start 2023 on the right note. Can you dig it? So let's do the fennel. Fennel is actually really good to mitigate the spike proteins. Full stop. <laughs> no conspiracies, Dan. So. Rainbows, unicorns, and butterflies. The government really cares. The government cares so much that they give you free stuff. Yeah, that's your first red flag. <laughs> Seriously, though. I mean, come on, man. The government's robbing you blind every day of your life from birth until death. And then at some point, they're like, no, there's this free thing. Come and get it. You know, and you're like, that should be like, wait a minute. Ha, 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 ha. Dan, didn't we say no conspiracies? Be quiet. There's these little liberal, blue-haired liberals at some college somewhere uh, listening to this video, assessing whether or not uh, it's acceptable to post this video or not. Oh, boy. It's gotten out of control, baby. Censorship. Chinese communist style, you know what I'm saying? So, if you say don't do conspiracies then that's all i talk about can you dig it i'm telling you man if you gotta that's what i'm saying this morning is like you gotta take care of yourself because i'm telling you you have a, there's a war going on right now okay it's modern science versus common sense and i got news for your brothers and sisters common sense is as old as the hills all you gotta do is look outside your door God and Mother Nature have been doing common sense since the, the day before time started. And now, you got to go with the science, you know. I follow the science. Oh, <laughs> where's that going to get you? Where is the science going to get you? I'll let you take a guess. That's right. Six feet under the ground. Can you dig it? I was going to be like, no conspiracies. Well, screw that. We're already in deep. Coming to get you, Dan. The CIA, woo, -woo FBI, you're getting blasted, son. I'm the life regenerator. It's just vegetables. I'm sorry. I wanted them to clean out their colon. Ah. No colon cleansing. We've got to have rotting colons so that we can get lots of dollar bills. It's a trillion dollar healthcare industry. If you teach them to clean their colon out with Pyridine products, how are we going to make $1.5 trillion a year promoting sickness? I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. Actually, I will. I'll continue to teach health because if you clean all the junk out and deal with all your bull crap, that's the part people don't want. What do I eat? It ain't about what you eat. It's about how you think. It's about how you treat other people. Now, there are definitely implications when it comes to... Um, you know, nature and stuff like that. Getting outside and getting some fresh air and getting to bed on time and getting some good sleep, you know. 
relationships and whatnot, you know, like real life, like forgiveness, understanding. So again, the energy can just flow through you, you know? But it's, it's all those unconscious obstructions. It's like, I ain't going to forgive them. I'm not going to forgive. It's like, well, then you're not going to be healthy. Can you dig it? Because if you had, if you had the, if you had the mind of God, you could forgive. Because you'd be able to see, oh wow, they were severely abused when they were a child. Whatever. I'm not making excuses for all the bad things that happen in the world, but like all these, uh, what the globalists are doing. That's just because they've got billions of dollars and they're as 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 empty as anything ever was, and so they're mad at you for. You know, you, you just make like 75000 a year. You've got a wife and two kids and living in a little two-bedroom house, you know, and you're happy because you go to church and you love Jesus, and they hate that. They hate Jesus, you know what I'm saying? That's why we got to continually praise Jesus and praise God and continually go to church or whatever it is that you do, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just got to keep on remembering divinity. Because they want to take that away and they want to be divinity. And that ain't cool, man. Because they ain't divinity. And they want to play God. That's why they want to genetically modify you. And that's why they like to genetically modify all the food, too. You know? And that's why they want to genetically modify all the humans. Because they want to be God. So that's called narcissistic megalomania. You know, they have billions of dollars. They want you to eat insects. And they're going to be eating steak and lobster. Either which one is gross. No offense. I mean, lobsters are a bottom feeder for sure. But insects are full of parasites. And that's why they want to do that. Because they love sickness, disease, suffering, pain, and death. But what about life? That's what you got. So you got to avoid all the crazy weird stuff. you got to avoid the modern science. And when I say modern science, I'm just saying it became an industry. And when it became an industry, it lost its original purity. You see what I'm saying? So the science becomes whatever the person who's paying the scientists to get such and such results. It's no longer a quest for truth, except for in more of the, uh, you know, isolated and smaller um, you know, it's, in other words, like industrialized science has sold its soul. Where are, there obviously are always going to be small little pockets of scientists working and barely eking out a couple of grants. and then, But all the people that are doing the big government stuff, they're going to get the big grants and then they're going to come up and it's like, well, we need our million dollar funding. So, of course, you know, they're wonderfully safe and beautifully effective, blah, blah, blah. So... You have to outsmart this, you know, the degeneracy of society, really, which isn't that hard to do. <laughs> you know, it's really not that hard to understand. But then again, it, it's, it's common sense, simple, basic, plain common sense about life. And I hope we don't lose that. There'll be a resurgence of it because people are going to kind of get tired of all this woke crap. And it's just to cause confusion and distraction. And so it's like it causes confusion and then you're not paying attention to what they're really doing. And who knows what's real and what's not real anymore. You know, who knows who's the bad guy and who's the good guy anymore. Everyone thinks they know. Hell, maybe they're all in on it together. You know what I'm saying? Who knows, man? Not that any of this is really matters. It's just I kind of wanted to get it off my chest. Hot peppers. Um, you know, it's just, it's fun. It's fun to talk about it and kind of bring it up because a lot of people did get damaged and a lot of people do regret. So they got to take this juice every day along with the core four from Pyridime as a protocol to detoxify all the stuff because what's in the lemon ginger blast and these other juice recipes I'll share with you in a minute you know <clears throat> the fennel the ginger the apples all the pectins and the antioxidants 
and the fibers and stuff, it's going to, the living water permeates the cells, allows for cell permeability, and then the antioxidants can go in, neutralize, and take stuff out. So it's really a bioaccumulation of toxic waste matter that's building up in people's bodies. And now the intramuscular injection is 100% absorption, whereas with the GI tract, if you eat some fish with mercury in it, you only absorb a teeny tiny little bit of the mercury. But if you blast that into your intramuscular intravenous um, exposure, that's 100% absorption into the physical organism. Whereas, you know, outside of, you know, the, the, the GI tract is, is essentially really outside the body. And for it to get anything to get into the tissues of the body, it has to pass the walls. If you have a healthy ileum with healthy microbial activity and a healthy gut, then your body's natural defenses are going to just pu push the mercury out. It doesn't want to absorb it if they're really healthy and conscious microbes. And that's the problem with so much of what's going on is that the food is funky. It's got a lot of pesticides which is breaking the gut wall, the microbes aren't healthy, the massive sticky biofilms built up with polysaccharides, and that's why you take, that's why you take the uh, pyrazyme first with the herbal blood at the same time so that the pyrazyme breaks up the biofilms is made out of polysaccharides and proteins that then get broken down by the enzymes and then the herbal blood the walnut hole and the other antiparasitic and antifungal herbs that's in the herbal blood can penetrate those biofilms and start to remove and kind of make an environment where it's inhospitable to the funguses and to the parasites that are living inside your body sending signals to your brain for their favorite kinds of foods and that's why fasting is so hard because those as those little critters are dying off they're sending signals to your brain for cheese and eggs and bread and meat and carbs and sugar and car and um, you know pastas and things like that and so these water rich foods which are generally what you'll find in nature that's what the animals will eat all the herbivores are eating water rich um, herbs and you know leaves and sometimes bark and then the frugivores they're eating like juicy fruits and very mineral rich fruits and there's a lot of um, a lot more water living water but as we start eating the stickier highly processed and cooked foods that doesn't have any water number one it dehydrates us I'll tell you of a truth that the cooked food dehydrates your tissues and the raw living food. And the reason is, is that the heat changes the structure of the living water molecules in the living food because it's structured out in nature through the vine and through the sunlight. So that's why oh, we're popping over, popping over. That's why, that's why living foods is so awesome because it allows for cell permeability, hydration, detoxification and it keeps the tissues young and healthy and vibrant and alive and there's an electricity there and then you've still got like you know your reproductive organs still work your brain still works there's a lot going on in society that is diminishing the functionality of the reproductive organs and there's a lot causing um confusion gender confusion as well and that's why you know, aside from the spiritual aspects of it, which is a whole another conversation of humanity kind of moving towards an androgyny. I mean, we're kind of cool now. We've got the masculine men with the testicles and the testosterone, and the feminine woman. So you, that's why there's so much confusion and stuff and anger, and the women are angry at the men, and the men are like, well, whatever, you know. And so there's a little complacency there. But then again, the last thing men want to hear is a complaining woman. It's just... It's like nails on the chalkboard. So their obvious frustration is understandable, but at the same time, so 
you know, as we go through these changes in society, just due to, you know, radiation, the stuff in the sky, the things in the food, you know, the atrazine is a big one, the pesticides, and so the contrast isn't there as much um, for the masculine and feminine polarities. Um, now, I'm like kind of the last, we're the last old school generation of masculine men, you know, the, the beard and the testicles full of testosterone, and we like the whom he liked, you know, me booga booga. And so we're getting progressively, you know, um, it's going to be a long time though, so you want to recommend people care for their reproductive organs and embrace the physical body that creation gave you. And the one thing I've kind of always wanted to say, it's a controversial topic, but don't get yourself cut up because I've done several consultations actually with people who removed their um, reproductive organs and every one of them has always regretted it. So, you know, if you're a young person, you're going through all that right now, just give it some time, hold on. You're, everything will balance itself out. And especially if you get in the right environment, and if you um, eat a real natural whole foods diet, which I know you look around and nobody does that. I mean, I'm like a weirdo. I mean, I have a few friends and stuff like that that are more conscientious. Um, but in the real reality, it's few and far between for people to be, um, you know, consistently adamant about consuming um, whole foods to where you don't like, oh, it's Christmas time. Here's a piece of candy. It's like, no, I'm just, I don't eat candy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even remember the last time I ate a piece of candy unless you consider raw chocolate, you know, which I'll do rarely every once in a while. I'm not a huge fan of the chocolate. You know, it's too, I don't like stimulants myself. You know, I like, cause I'm already hyped up. I like the natural nourishing energy in these foods. That's kind of why I'm like a raw food junkie. I'm a raw food advocate. Well, I like to call myself a living foods, you know, um, just, uh, yeah, a, a living foods advocate, basically, you know, or, or a live food enthusiast. That's kind of like the best way to put it. So this is pretty epic because it's been a while since I've had a lemon ginger blast because it's a little more expensive here. Um, in Hawaii because the apples are like twice as much or even three times as much as they were on the mainland, you know. And so, um, so anyways, this is the, um, for everyone who's going to be doing the New Year's cleanse with the Pyridime here, you take the cleanse first with the juice. You take eight of those or a tablespoon of the powder. And then your, so that's your first juice. And then you, with your second juice, you take the uh, Pyridime. And the herbal blood, I think I have one that's open. Yes. And then you take the, uh, the pyrazine, pure, which breaks up the biofilms, and is also a blood thinner. And be, you know what I'm saying with all that right now. <laughs> we can't have that conversation, so you better know. Otherwise, you know, anyways, I'm glad I don't do anything. I don't do any of it. If the government suggests it, I'd say, thank you very much. And I turn and I run like hell. Well, first I just casually walk around the corner because I don't want to draw attention. And once I get around the corner, then I run like hell just in case. I don't want the government's help. Now, I will go to the hospital. I did go to the hospital like eight years ago. But that turned out to be a mistake too because they made me take so many antibiotics. They forced me to take antibiotics before I could leave. It just obliterated my immune system, which then again, all things work for the good of those who love the Lord because, you know, I had to learn how to become a gut regeneration expert. And that's why I love Pyridime because the Pyridime is the gut regeneration company because all these enzymes and probiotics and prebiotics that's in all of the protein powders and stuff. So the Pyridime just is a gut rebuilding company you know and so once you get the gut rebuilt and you get on a like a whole natural foods diet you'll be in good shape but we use these as protocols and i just take it because it brings a super i mean you know i am clean and i am healthy 
you know, so I stay the course, you know. So I'm taking eight of these bad boys. And I designed my own protocols. Uh, Lou Corona has his own protocols. And Phil also does other protocols as well. But I designed my own because I, just because if it's too much, then it's too much. And you can't fit it in in one day. And I'd rather have slow and steady. Lou tries to cram it all in and get you in 10 days, get you healed, you know. And I'm thinking more like three months. Now, in the sense of just slow and steady, and that way it's also much easier on your economics, which I understand very well. You know, but the more the better for when, when you know, Lou does it, he just like says, bam, 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 massive saturation, you know, which I've done before too. And it's really awesome because your energy gets super high. But on the, just for the slow and steady for people to have like a nice, protocol so that they can just be slow and steady and they have a um, like a structure to follow every day you know juice 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 salad or just juice juice salad or juice juice fruit meal or juice 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 and another juice three or four quarts in a day or whatever and do a juice fast juice fasting on the paradigm that's the next level can you dig it and then once everything's cleaned out then you can get to the water fasting and then you'll start to see what it really is but nobody's ready for that everybody says i'm not ready for that yet but believe me that is el primo uno number one but get you but it's really good to do the preparation first you know what i mean mm. praise the lord mm. Yeah. Oh, man. That is a winter ginger blast, dude. That is a good one. Man, I think that's like one of the best lemon ginger blasts I've had in a long time. There's something about the perfect amount of apple and perfect amount of that dark green. Did you see those dandelions going in? how fresh and green they were and the perfect amount of mint perfect amount of fennel which is really good for the spike proteins which everyone gets even if you didn't get it it's shedding off of everyone i had it i grew a giant tumor on my butt my girlfriend at the time had to pop it and about two tablespoons of pus came out those were all the spike protein and my body figured it out and I had a few other clients that had these rashes too. And I'm like, all I did was hug a bunch of people. When the first thing started, I, and they started doing the tch -tch, the poke. Then I went to this thing, hugged a bunch of people, and then got it. And so it was shedding. You see what I'm saying? And I'm like, oh, hell no. I ain't having it. So I went on a real hardcore paradigm master blaster. And I haven't had any issues with that sense and I think that it's also my immune system caught on and got up to speed and that's why it was the immune system was putting all that stuff into one big pocket instead of having all this rash which was around my reproductive organs and then finally the rash went away and then it just started going into one big spot so it, that's a really good sign that the body's storing the debris in one spot so those tumors and stuff are kind of a good thing in a way and that the body's smart enough still and hasn't lost its communication abilities to say you know hey let's store this all right here out of the way so it's not being stored in the heart or the brain or the glands you see what i'm saying and it'll store it in less important tissue for later than it's, it's saying to itself okay once this onslaught of toxin stops We'll have this stored up and then we'll just get rid of it. And that's where the detox comes in. All these growths and skin tags and tumors and abscesses and growths and pussy, waxy um, buildup in the body. You know, we want to be clean and you can get your tissues to be like that of a child again through the detox, regeneration, fasting, and illumination of the inner self pathway. So, but I know it's a hell of a run, dude, because you're really going against, you know, a, a generations of ignorance, generations of pain, generations of conditioning, 
generations of genetic expression and then you're like, oh, I'm going to do the regeneration path. And then the universe and consciousness and nature is like, well, let's see if you really mean it. And then it puts every blockade in your way. And you're like, holy crap, there's the pain of a thousand generations sitting inside myself. And you have to transcend that. You have to walk into that. You have to walk through that and feel it all and forgive them. But at the same time, you also free them all. And, and they look down from the heavenly realms and they're applauding you and thanking you. So be brave and be bold because you're doing it not only for every living being on the planet Earth when you rise, but you're doing it for everyone that ever was and everyone that ever will be. And that's how important and special you are in a humble way, if you know what I mean. Like the work you're doing, as, as humble as it may seem on the outside or the inside or to your friends, maybe you're not a huge influencer on social media or whatever, but the work you're doing is important. And I applaud those of you who continually press forward in spite of the challenges, you know, that you must face. And it is hard to be vulnerable on the social media and say, hey, I'm supposed to be this healer guy and I have more problems than anyone I know. Of course, it's just more of a mirrored reflection. But if you have a high standards for yourself, then, you know, then, then all of the garbage is going to come up. If you're just like, oh, I got a mediocre is fine and I'm not going to set the bar any higher, then it's easy to make it look like you have the perfect life because you're not striving to uh, transcend the lower vibrational qualities that have found their way into your karmic experience, for lack of a better way to say anything. So, you know, if I sound too weird or whatever, but you're still here, and if I didn't scare you away with the conspiracy stuff in the beginning, then, then we cool. Can you dig it? So just be cool, man. Just be happy. Even when you're sad, just be happy. Even when the whole world is going to hell in a handbasket, just be happy. Just be happy, you know. Just be at ease. Just let go. Because I know everybody's got the stress, man. And that'll be the number one. Like, what do I eat? It's like, you got to stop stressing first. Then we can talk about diet. Because you can't digest anything. You keep digesting all that stress. Every time you eat, I'm stressed out. Give me a donut. I'm stressed out. Give me a fruit. You know, it's less. But when you're really stressed out and you want comfort food, you don't really reach for like a tangelo. Not necessarily. But then again, there is times when you can still use even the best foods for, you know, self-modulation. But anyhow, that's a whole other conversation. But this is a great lemon ginger blast. And I was going to say, first it's the cleanse, eight of those. Then eight of these of the pyrazyme and the herbal blood. And then um, for your last juice, take about 12 or 20. They're a lot smaller of the um, pure life. And those are the probiotics to reset and recalibrate everything. Expert at popping pills, huh? Now, I'm not gonna say I'm proud of that, but most everyone has to do like two at a time. Eight is about my limit, I'm not gonna lie. So what I have here, I'll share with you. Man, this one is the best. This one is coconut, cucumber, cilantro, dill, kale, and lemon. Now that is a real winner. Had that this morning. Bam. Next level. Absolutely. And then this one is really epic. And this is pineapple, cucumber, coconut, cilantro, and mint. Can you dig it? And so those are a couple more green juices. And then, of course, the good old, um, you got to have just the big old fat OJ. And um, also this other one here is, um, this is, Coconut and alfalfa. I made a post the other day and um, talking about how much I love chlorella, but I also use spirulina, 
barley grass, wheat grass, alfalfa, blue-green algae, Phanazomenon plus aquae, and my favorite one is wild grass. So I use all of them for chelating purposes, and they all have different genetic components that connect you to a different aspect of life. And I just love all the variability because it makes you a dynamic person. If all you ate was just potatoes, you'd be have a really potato-esque kind of a personality. But if you eat all these different foods, pine pollen, and bee pollen, and different herbs and everything else, you're going to have more of a dynamic personality, especially if it's fresh, whole, raw, you know, and then some of the stuff that's dried and powdered, you just add that to coconut water. People asked me the other day, what's your favorite coconut water? Now, obviously, I live here, I climb the trees, I get the coconuts out of the trees. That's the best. Secondarily is the young Thai coconuts, but they've gotten so expensive every with this new economy, you know, that um, it's, it's it cost prohibitive, you know what I'm saying? So even what I had to do, which I've never had to do, I'm not even proud to say it, but I had to because I was so dehydrated and the water just wasn't cutting it. I was so dry when I was in Arizona that I would go to Costco and they have this brand of coconut water with no sugar added. I don't like the ones with sugar. I like just the ones that are plain. And there are a couple of brands, but organic coconut water, there's one at Costco that's really, really good. And I would use that for my juices because I had to make my economy go further. And I found through my own experiences that, that even the canned coconut water, which kind of goes against my living food religious philosophy, but then again, there's just like, but I was glad to have some of those limitations because when I lived on the mainland for 14 months, I got to understand how I can present this even better to people, but you just get what you can. And you, you, you humble yourself and you just eat simple plain foods that grow around you. Now in the winter time, there isn't as much, but in the spring, the summer and the fall, you do have choices, you know, that you can get whole foods and you learn to prepare them simply. And it doesn't have to be this fancy, crazy thing, you know, and you can heal yourself. But remember, it's not just about the food. It's about forgiveness. It's about understanding. One thing that is the most beneficial thing, at least for this experience, is meditation, um, contemplation, and spirituality, like seeking the truth and not thinking you know the truth, because everyone on Facebook already knows the truth. And then it's this whole big, long, heady, you know, explanation of all kinds of different concepts. And you know that they don't know the truth, because the truth is like so simple that you can't even talk about it. You know, it just is, you know, and we get up here to talk. It's like, this is our job. You know, we'd rather be silent, but we talk, we joke around conspiracies, blah, blah, blah. We throw a little in there so that the people that are paying attention can get it. And then we don't get in trouble. You can, you dig it. And then really it's just like, man, I'll encourage you to drink up. Drink your juice. I live on juice during the day and have one meal at night, either some fruit or a salad. I'm skinny, I'm thin, but I feel great. Even one of my friends, she's known me for years. She said, man, you look good. And I ain't even gotten started, okay? I haven't even started on this path. I, I know you these sentences, you're crazy, 22 years live foods and fasting. But all I did for the last 22 years was learn what it was that doesn't work. Now, I'm just barely beginning to understand the complete teachings and the ultimate medicine. And now it must be mastered. And that's why I'll probably take time away from social media a lot because you just got to focus. And the social media gets you all spun out of whack. You know what I'm saying? And then you just, but you just got to be cool, man. You got to be centered. You got to be focused because you have to find it. You know, if you're really going to live it, if you're really going to embody it, you're not just going to be able to be on social media all the time and think that filling your head with a bunch of concepts is what's going to make you an adept, you know, or get you to the top of the mountain or get you to the other side of the river. You see what I mean? There's going to be times of solitude where you have to leave the world. Now, not necessarily, because you can do it wherever you go, you're going to take 
that mind with you. So actually, you know, in essence, all day, every day, no matter where you're at, and now is the place to start on your diet, on your sadhana, on your spiritual practice, on your quest for truth is now. Not waiting until your children are grown and you're living in a cave in the Himalayas, because then all you do is just take too long and then you bring all that mental stuff with you, you know? And now is the time to start offloading all that, you know? And in a sense of, I say a lot of words and share a lot of concepts and stuff, but at the end of the day, the, the main anchor is the rock of silence and stillness that is the wholeness, you know? And out of the wholeness, then duality, then the light and the dark, then the pleasant and the unpleasant, then the all the other different dichotomies that can rip humans in half, and that's what the Bible thing was talking about, with the Adam and the Eve eating the knowledge from the fruit of the tree, of the knowledge of good and evil. In other words, oh, in that first, they were in the is pristine, essential purity. And then they ate of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And R Rumi said it best, out beyond the ideas of right doing and wrong doing, there is a field. Meet me there. And so instead of going around and scowling everyone and looking in the mirror and scowling yourself, you're just letting go and dissolving into that wholeness through faith. You're just like surrendering. And perfect surrender isn't usually a, able to be done, but partial surrender can always be done. And partial surrender, a little more surrender, a little more surrender, a little more surrender. And then someday you'll find that you are just ready to, for the full and complete and total surrender to the source, to God, to the all being, to the essential purity, to divinity itself. And then if the disease doesn't go away, it's not who you are. We can work with the laws of nature, very much so. But eventually, every single one of us, we're going to get old. We're going to get gray. We're going to fester from the inside out, and we're going to die. So we do the best we can to take care of these things and to be stewards of them, but not be absolutely obsessed, to go beyond the body, to go beyond the mind so that we can be the self, the essential purity, then we can enjoy the body and mind for what it is. A temporary little stop here on a beautiful blue little rock in space where insanity is getting more and more pronounced every day. But that's okay. It's nothing new really. It's just getting more airtime from the crazy media that's been bought out by BlackRock and Vanguard. Where's my tinfoil? Where is my tinfoil? Ah! The fucker needs a tinfoil hat. I should take a picture in a video still. This is a great hat. This is like a super tinfoil hat. Dude, I am super conspiracy. I'm not going to say the word because they're not theories, they're facts, baby. So pay attention to the conspiracy facts. And when the aliens come, just find yourself the nearest conspiracy nut and ask for directions and you'll make it out okay because they are two steps ahead. Can you dig it? DTM rocking the lemon ginger blast. Just like a bike, I'll never forget. Thanks for being here today. I went on and on because I wanted to, because this is what I like. Can you dig it? I'm trying to cram it all in there in five minutes. Nah, ain't going to happen, bro. Man. Dude. That is one of the best lemon ginger blasts that I have ever had in my life. And I'm not kidding. And that is so perfect. I'm going to go out. 
and I'm going to go kayaking. And I will see you all sometime next year. Peace.